Hi there, Philip here. Welcome to my second tutorial for Dreams on the PS4. As some of you might know, I'm attempting to create a shoot them up in Dreams, and one of the biggest challenges I have encountered so far is simply to keep the ship in a specific area. In my first video, the idea was to contain the ship in a physical box. This seemed to work at first, but the problem was that the box was triggering all sort of physical reaction when the ship was bouncing on the walls and scraping against the walls and I had to use all sort of tricks just to keep it straight. So I set up to find a better solution and frankly I think I have. Although it was quite a lot of work but you know that's one of the good things with dreams there are several ways to go around things and get the results you want. So let's see how it plays. So we have our small cube here in the middle and I can move it around using the joystick. But you'll see that the cube stays in this specific area I have defined. Okay, so let's see how it looks in the scene. Let's reset the scenes. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the setup is quite simple. Also, I have uh, set up my PlayStation 4 in English, so it will be easier for you guys to follow now. I just want to show you quickly my second attempt at doing this. Let me open this and look at the logic in there so yes my second attempt was using zones and this led to this crazy logic board let's see the zones there you go and yeah it worked all right but I wasn't satisfied you know zones are good for a lot of things but you know if I tried to um, you know make my ship faster or thing like that it wouldn't detect it fast enough so yeah I tried other things I tried to use um, positioning and same thing I, I had to teleport my ship you know uh, to the tag that was following in it horizontally and vertically although this last solution actually led me to what I'm going to present to you today so let me just exit this and get back in edit mode and let's see what we have here activate the grid okay so simply I have set up four tags here one for down left right and up let's open one of them it's simply a tag with the right name on it and here you have this cube which is uh, controlled by the controller sensor here so one thing I'd like to point out about controller sensor is when you want to move something around and I had forgotten to mention this in the previous video you have to toggle this icon here remote controllable so yeah that being said here I have a combined cable that goes out from the left stick local it goes into this splitter here so this will split the joystick movement between X and Y directions X being left and right and Y being up and down so let's see what happens here when I split my left and right using another splitter then I will get a positive output and a negative output so 
the positive output actually leaves me here because it means that I am um, I am pressing my joystick to the right so I have a follower set up here and the follower is set up to move only on the x-axis and you can set up the speed here which would actually be the maximum speed of your ship and it follows the, ti the tag right yeah sorry French is my first language so uh, <laughs> yeah English is sometimes difficult for me but I'm gonna keep practicing okay so for each of the direction I actually input the signal in the speed of the follower so that's quite important don't use the power on use the speed this will magically connect to how far you push the thumbstick and there you go after setting up each of the direction to each of the tag and making sure that each of the tag follow the correct axis you will have a ship that is contained within the area defined by your tag awesome and let's just try something you know just let's move this tag away here and there you go I have a bigger zone using only that small amount of logic so I hope this will be useful for you guys and uh, until next time bye bye